Hi, this is Steve, and welcome to the next issue of Highlights, your educational update. And we added the uh, text here. It says Market Update. Uh, what we're going to be looking at now is the recent action in the cash S&P, and I want to relate that, that to a, a uh, scenario or a strategy that we refer to from time to time in these educational issues, and what I refer to as candles in context. And that really means, you know, not only looking at the candles, it's one of the great misuses of candlesticks. People see candles, a candlestick signal, and they think one should buy or sell. And this is what education is all about, uh, trading on a candlestick signal without looking at the overall technical picture. In, in other words, without having the educational resources to know what to do with the candlestick signal. The Japanese say it's like leaning a ladder against the clouds. <laughs> in other words, it's it's dangerous at best. So let me show you a case in point here. Now, okay, this is the, uh, the recent cash S&P, and I'll go through what this title means. Don't look through a well. And what we're looking at here are some uh, piercing patterns in one, two, three, four, and five. By the way, you'll notice there are these little upward pointing. So you'll notice these uh, green upward pointing arrows, uh, and you notice it says Nissen piercing pattern. This is some, some candlestick uh, scanning software that'll let you filter through any markets. And for example, if you want to find piercing patterns, you just put in piercing patterns, and all the markets that have piercing patterns will emerge. And it ha actually has uh, quite a few of my candlestick signals in here, my favorite candlestick signals. Right now, we're just looking at the piercing pattern. This is not released yet, this scanning software. As soon as it's released, you know, we'll let you know. You'll be the first to uh, uh, be among the first to be alerted as a member of the CandleTrust.com family. But that's what these little green arrows are all about. And so anyway, these are all uh, piercing patterns. And now the question, and there's five of them, one, two, three, four, and five. And the question is, and feel free to put the player on pause to think about it, why would we trade differently? Now, these are all piercing patterns. And refresh your memory, a piercing pattern is when a uh, you have a black real body and then you have a white candle that gets more than halfway into the black real body. So notice how this white candle got into that more than halfway, more than halfway here, and so forth. Uh, you know, for example, this is a bullish engulfing pattern, but we're not interested in that particular signal now. That's why it's not highlighted. So there's a piercing pattern. Notice how this white candle got more than halfway into the black candle, the same thing here. So what is different about the piercing patterns? Why would we trade differently with the piercing patterns at 4 and 5? In other words, the most recent piercing patterns here on the right side of the slide, as opposed to 1, 2, and 3. And once again, Put the player on pause uh, if you want to think about it. I'll give you a little bit of hint. For those who have my uh, DVD workshops, we go a lot into what I call change of polarity. Uh, and essentially what that means is old support becomes resistance. And that's the hint. So think about this for a second or two. Okay, what's different with piercing pattern four and five? Okay, the answer is, as I gave you with a hint, change of polarity. Notice how that previously solid support area, and I probably should have made this bottom red line a little closer to here, but you get the point. This prior solid support area, change of polarity means old support becomes resistance or old resistance becomes new support. So just as this old support area was broken, okay, notice how well this has worked. Uh, although there's a piercing pattern, essentially, if you're buying on this piercing pattern, you're buying at resistance, and that's the major difference. So for those who didn't understand the concept of change of polarity, uh, and now remember, you know, my niche is candlestick chart since I revealed them to the world, but I've also been using Western Technical for 30 years, and on my educational resources, I certainly go over my favorite Western tools, and this is one of them. So for those who would recognize the piercing pattern and think that, hey, the piercing pattern is a potentially bullish signal, and buying it on here, you're trading dangerously because you're not looking at the overall picture. Okay, you should. This should just jump out at you. All support becomes resistance. Now this gets back to the uh, uh, saying up here: "Don't look through uh, a well." The Japanese say, and, have a, and the analogy I like to make is, you know, uh, they have a proverb that says, uh, "Like looking at the sky through the bottom of a well." And that's what it is if you're just only using candlesticks. Okay, that's why we have what I call my trading triad success system, where we have candlesticks and Western tools and money management. So here, for example, you'd recognize the candlestick signal, 
But from a money management perspective, it's a bad risk reward trade because if you're buying it on the piercing pattern, you're buying it resistance. So essentially, you know, I'd wait for the market uh, uh, to close above 1490 to turn a little bit, a bit more friendly. Likewise, notice this old resistance area here in June. Resistance, resistance, a little bearish engulfing pattern here, another bearish engulfing pattern here. So the market had a resistance area here right around 1535, it closed above it. Once the market closed under 1535, that old resistance should have been support. And once the market closed under it, the outlook turned negative. And extra confirmation of the uh, bearish outlook was the break under this very important support area. So hopefully this uh, helps you continue down your path to education. And may the candles continue lighting your path to greater profits.